Greetings, Bobby W6IWN here. And I have a slinky. I'm gonna try to activate a soda poda with. It's been a while since I brought out the slinky antenna. Uh, the band conditions are super poor. This is probably not the best day to try it, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. Uh, wish me luck. I'll show you how I set this thing up and uh, what's going on, how I made it. All right, I'm in a poda park above Lake Tahoe, California on the North Shore. Uh, Poda Park US 4469, Tahoe National Forest. Also, this is a soda summit, Whiskey 6, stroke November Sierra, dash 147. I believe the elevation is 8,424 feet. All right, let's take a quick peek at uh, what I'm using and how I made it. So I simply just got the original slinky and I soldered a lead to it uh, with a terminal. And then on the top here, I took an old orange juice bottle and I uh, melted some tiny holes with my soldering iron. I fed it around the slinky and then in the middle, I made a small hole to go over my fishing pole mast. I will be using this with a nine to one onion right here by uh, LGD. And then I have a few counterpoise wires. I would have liked to brought more, uh, but I was trying to go light since I didn't have to hike up here. All right, I'm all set up. That was actually quicker than my infed half wave. So off the ground side, I have some counterpoise wires going out on the lead for the infed long wire side. I have the slinky and I have it extended up a 17 foot crappie pole, which I took the top off. So it's probably only about 15 feet. And then rather than put my choke of my coax on this end I put it on the radio end so hopefully I can use uh, my coax as a counterpoise as well above beautiful Lake Tahoe here's the radio I'm going to be using today the Zygu G90 uh, I love it because the internal tuner will, will tune a bob wire fence even a slinky uh, and 20 watts all right let's take a look at the antenna analyzer and see how this antenna is performing I don't know if you can see this I'm out in the field I'm doing my best 20 meters, 2.5, 17, 2.29. It jumps around with the wind. 15, 145, 12, 2.64, 11, 2.4, 10, 1.7. It jumps around with the wind. Oh, it went down to 143 there. Six meters, 2.54, 160 is a no go. At over 10, 80, 5.27, 40, 149. It's jumping around with the wind. It was higher earlier, 198, 30, 2.6. As you can see, it's a multi band antenna and back down to 15 on 20. And then it jumped up. CQ Soda, CQ Poda. This is Whiskey 6, India, Whiskey November, calling CQ, CQ, and listening. Kilo 6, Kilo Mike Hotel. I'll give you a signal report on the next go around. I'm working a slinky for an antenna. <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, you're at 5555 San Diego. Summit to summit, summit to summit. Summit to summit, go ahead. Kilo 6, Echo Lima. Kilo 6, Echo Lima. I have you 5-7 on the slinky, Elliot. 5-7. Park to park. The park is US 4381. The summit is Whiskey 7 Oscar. So, Charlie, November 008. Whiskey 6, Tango Delta X ray. Whiskey 6, TDX. I always appreciate the chase. 5 7 today. Good morning, thank you very much. We're going to be a lot of QRM at 5.5, 55 up here in Oregon. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Hotel Papa. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Hotel Papa, 5.8, Northern California. QSL, you're up 5.7 into Northern Arizona. November Tango, 6 Echo, I hear you in there. MC 6, Echo, Northern Arizona. Kilo 
All right, November Tango, six Echo, great. I only need two more. You are 5858 on the Slinky in Northern California, QSL. QSL, QSL, good hearing you. Glad I made it over. Uh, I was on the frequency for a little bit, but you're a little bit too far down on the noise, but you just kind of came up now. I have you about... Right now, about 4, 5, 45 in SoCal. Follow up the summit. Summit to summit. Uh, this is Kilo Golf 7, Juliet, Quebec, Yankee. Uh, I have you 5, 7, your summit, please. My summit is OC 7 Aster, Stroke Charlie Mike, Dash 015, Mount Fuji, Oregon. 50 Alpha 7, Delta Delta Oscar, Portable 6. A five five right now five five on the slinky, and you're my number ten. I appreciate you, my friend. Roger, you're uh, coming in here about five by three. Bravo six, Papa Oscar Tango. Whiskey Bravo six, Papa Oscar Tango. Hey guys, I need a signal for it. A lot of QSB, a lot of QSB. I've got you about a three by four, thirty four, thirty four, Bobby QSL. QSL forty four, Peter four four. QSL, 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 thank you for the activation, 7-3. We did it, Ricky! We activated Soda Poda with a slinky! All right, I'm not gonna lie to you, that has been a challenge today, and I'm getting reports from other operators. The band conditions are poor. I'll show you with the solar terrestrial data. Uh, and how I have this thing set up, and the wind has not been helping me. Let me show you what I've been going through. So setting it up higher on this stump has been problematic. I've also done this with an in-fed half wave and it makes it more difficult to set up. So I gotta quit choosing this thing. But uh, as the wind blows, uh, it's making this slinky really bang around on my, my fishing pole, which I think it's a carbon fiber, so that it's affecting, I can hear it. Uh, last time I had it set up, I was on a summit, there was not much wind, and I was really down low on a log, and also the, the counterpoise wires were running right to the ground. I don't think uh, here, it might not be helping that they're coming down the tree and then to the ground. I've been doing some research. A lot of people tell me on the ground. Some people are telling me elevated if they're tuned, but these are not tuned, so I would like them on the ground. Well, that's the slinky antenna in action. I wanna get it out again when the bands are, are better. All right, let me show you some views of where we're at. This is Lake Tahoe, California. I'm on the North Shore on Mount Watson. Oh, it's kind of near Kings Beach. This is a pretty heavily activated summit. It's not a bad hike up here. Uh, you can uh, you can do it not too bad if you have a vehicle capable of getting up the road up here. It's, I did it in my Subaru. A lot of people won't do that though. You can also park lower where the, the road isn't so rough and uh, walk up. But just uh, beautiful views. It does get windy up here, though. 